Three, two, one, go. All right, so I guess we're gonna try this rascal. I have no idea how I wanna start. He kind of has a spherical head, but then he has this piece on top too. So I don't know. I don't really know what to. I don't really know what to start. How to start? But sometimes you just gotta start. I think I want to mirror it and do something like this first. Man, the people on Facebook are gonna go crazy over this. Uh, anytime I start to sculpt something, people get crazy. You know how it is. But his head kind of. Mm, I can stretch it. So let's say his head is about this long. I'm just gonna validate. So this is the top view. I think I'm just gonna use move. And so he's gonna start bringing his head together and just sort of shaping his head. So I think it's something like this. The back would probably be flat, but I don't really have to do that now. I can always, well, I guess I might as well do it now. So something like that, I think would work. And I'll just, um, Ooh, that doesn't really work too well, as well as I wanted it to work. I think I might have to select mask. And then pull it, and pull it up. Okay, so the front... I probably could have done this before I did the select tool. It's actually not bad. This is obviously flat here. But that's easy to fix. I'm like so... I'm always thinking about my sculpts now. In the eyes of... The random Facebook users. And knowing the comments I'm going to get. But oh well. So that actually isn't too bad. It looks like... Um, the back jaw is definitely pretty wide. Looks like, yeah, I think that's pretty good, actually. There's some roundness back here. Okay. So I think this is looking pretty good. I might just have to make it a little bit wider, I think, though. And you know what else? I want to bring the bottom, I want to make the bottom wider too. So not only am I going to use the X, but I'll use the is it Y. I think it's Y. Let's turn on the line. Yeah, so we want Y. And honestly, we could, um, we could probably just voxel remesh these two. We'll just validate and join children. And then voxel remesh like 200. So everything is still symmetrical, which is nice. 
we want to use the green and the red so we can make this a little wider back here Looks pretty good. Ooh, let me turn the green off so I can just bring the nose down some. His head might be a little longer, something like that. Okay. I think it looks pretty good. So we'll smooth everything out and then just literally just go step by step and just figure out how to make this thing look good. I do want to show his teeth. That's the only thing that's a bit annoying is I, I both, I want to show his teeth and I want to show him, I like when his mouth is closed as well. needs to be wider. All right. Bring this back side out, bring the bottom out a little bit. I don't even think I really smoothed it out. You don't want a voxel remesh too high because then you won't be able to smooth everything out and keep everything nice and clean. So, um, and even something like this, if I want to smooth it out more, maybe I'll just go a little bit lower and really work out those wrinkles. And then once I'm happy, I'll, uh, I'll go back up to 200. Okay, so it's not bad. So let's make this, um, let's see, if this was here, this would be around, it's definitely not thick enough. And this would actually have to be more round here, which was the initial reason that I did spheres, but they kind of got lost in the sauce. But he has like round jaws, that are like big round jaw muscles. So we'll kind of make them circular. Let's voxel remesh low again so we can make sure that this is nice and a lot of people ask me for my settings that here's my stroke settings alpha fall off filter and pressure but i probably get that every day everyone's like what are your settings what are your tool settings and there's a million different tools, but something like this is an easy one to show you. So hopefully, maybe someone was interested in my smooth tool settings. Okay, that's pretty good. They're a little, they're a little wide. They're not that wide here, but that's okay. Maybe we'll flatten them, flatten it a little bit. Okay. All right, so I'm kind of looking at this one mostly, it seems like. 
So let's save. So I want to add a, do I want to add a cylinder or just a sphere for the horn? I don't usually use, I think I'll just do a cylinder. I just tend to work with cylinders often. I'm just going to validate it. The symmetry wasn't on. I want to keep everything symmetrical to start. Just adjusting the size of the move tool so I can all right so that looks pretty cool it's not exactly perfect which I kind of like just in general like it looks like an actual horn like a rhino horn or some sort of animal horn can't can't really see the back of it that's okay. As long as we're using symmetry, it should look pretty good. And it's definitely flat in the on the front. Right, let's clay some of this away. So we'll hit sub. So it's something like that. Flatten the sides so it's more of a, there we go. The horn might be a little um, soft, so I'm gonna have to remesh soon. Let's remesh this around 200. I guess we can smooth it. We can use the round edge. Just want to smooth that. Smooth out what we have. Looks pretty good. Uh, the, the size actually looks pretty decent as well. We were trying to match that head. It's not too bad. So it would be a little more forward, or the head would be a little bigger, maybe. Maybe a little more like this. Also, I'm on orthographic. I'm not on perspective, so there is that as well. So it's always good to keep that in mind as well. So maybe we'll just turn this back a little bit. And make it a little smaller. Okay, that feels that feels about right. So I'll probably have to add some more details to this later on. But for now, I think it looks pretty good. And it looks like it's sort of It's a little smaller towards the nose. 
All right, so he has this plate, and I was thinking for this plate, it sort of looks like a tongue, like a backwards tongue. So, let me see. I think I'll add a cylinder. So I'm going to flatten it, mirror it, and then separate it. So make it quite a bit bigger and sort of stretch it out. So I'm going to validate and then I'll just use move. And we want to make sure that we have the green as well. And I can't really see the back, so I have to kind of imagine what the back is like. But I'm thinking something like this. Oh, of course, symmetry is not on. I think, okay. So I guess I didn't need it because it's mirrored. So this would be the, this would go out a little bit. So I want to make this sort of shape. So it's like a bigger circle, a smaller circle. And they all come to a, the part where his nose is. So there's a bigger circle and there's a smaller circle. All right, let's, um, Let's remesh this to like 150. Oh, did I just remesh them together? I might have by accident. No, I didn't, I didn't. Okay, so then there's a small, smaller one that kind of comes together at the nose, but symmetry is not on again. Ah, oh, but the symmetry is all messed up. Hmm. Oh, I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. It's still a mirror. It shouldn't matter. The only thing that's annoying is I, I do, I could use the symmetry for this, but as you can see, it's not correct anymore. But that's okay. So this actually comes down to like his nose. So I just want to bring this together. Oh man. I cannot look at the top view of that. All right, so. <laughs> Although, I, whatever. It's probably, that'll cause this video to get a million hits like that other character I did on Facebook. Um, okay, so let's, let's just push it up a little bit and then let's kind of bring it to be level with the head. So I'm thinking something like this could work. And I kind of like where these things are, so maybe I'll just bring the head a little bit. Okay, so maybe I will I kind of like I kind of like this. Maybe these are a little too aggressive. I feel some, I feel like it's something like that. And I want his uh I want his neck to kind of be straight. So 
So something like that. I think that's good. I don't know why I've been so nervous to make to make him. Even though I guess it's sort of it's sort of normal for me. I'm kind of nervous when, before I make all the characters because I'm just like, what if I don't know? What if I can't make it? <laughs> what if it just doesn't work? I mean, it's a it's a real. You know what? So these, so this edge I'm seeing, it kind of edges out. I know it kind of that doesn't really make that much sense, but what I mean is like, sort of like that seems like. <clears throat> Excuse me. The back doesn't go out that much, I'm noticing. But the eyes definitely do. The eyes definitely do, and there's, let's see, where's my crease? Okay, so there, yeah, that's the right spot. So the eyes would be about here. The nose is quite flat. This is a very important part. So there's this little part. And then this part where it comes out. So the eye is, let's turn it this way so I can kind of see. So as I look at this, I have to sort of, I have to make it so that it's as close to what I'm seeing on the, the reference. I do like these, I think they look good. Oh, the only problem is, the head is still too short. So I'm gonna bring the head back some because he has massive jaws. And then this also needs to be a bit more like this. Okay. And then looking at it this way, where's my crease? I want to drag this in a little bit more. So this would actually have some clay here. What is this away? I want regular. some clay here and it would have a little bit of clay on the bottom side too it looks like and then if I do sub the eye looks like it would be in this area not right. So this is right over the eye. So it would actually be here. Right? It's a little tricky. Maybe this is okay. So maybe this becomes part of this. I'm okay with that. Oops. Let's bring
bring this out a little bit wider. Okay. So these I need to, I can probably just smooth these out. Should I fuse this yet? I'm not sure, did I already? No, they're still separate. I think I'm gonna bring these together. And I'm just gonna name this top bone for like the, his head bone. This is the horn. And this is the head. So this could go away some, at least in the middle. We don't need that middle, middleness. And I don't know if I want to join these yet with the actual head. Oh no. Wait, did I need to... Let me check the symmetry. Yeah. So what did I just smooth? Okay, so that's smoothed on both sides. Looks like it was the... So when did the smooth turn off? That's what I'm curious about. No, they look different. I think they look different. I would say that's the main thing where I lose time is this stupid symmetry that turns off and on. I, I never notice it if it's off. And I'll change, like, I don't know, is it the different meshes that I go to? Like, sometimes it'll just turn off. I don't know if I'm turning it off and i just forgotten. I don't know. But now it's on. Okay, so that's good. Oh, I can turn, turn this off. So we'll just smooth this up a little bit. I feel like the back might actually be like... can't really see it, so I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. Maybe once I, I merge them together. Maybe I'll use layer to sort of get some space in here. Let's sub. Okay. All right, that's not bad. Uh, the other thing that I'm seeing, no, I guess that looks okay. But maybe it is time to bring them together, I'm thinking. So let's voxel remesh them together at like 250. Now let's do some smoothing. Not too worried about those creases. We can always just use the crease tool to uh, bring those creases back. Don't know what the back looks like, so 
I want to make sure that that's smoothed out nicely. And now looking at the back, I feel like the jaw is a little bit, jaws should be pretty wide. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so it looks like looks like his head would go like this, and then it would be a nice smooth situation here. And it's not looking that smooth, so I I want to work on that. I'm just adjusting the size so I can move it how I want, move the mesh how I want. Okay, so this might, mm, I don't like that either. There's not enough wideness at the bottom. I widened out the back, but I think I have to widen out all of this as well. better and it looks like this is pointing forward so it looks like from the right this would be facing forward a bit more and maybe a little bigger Eyes are very small, so that's that looks okay. Uh, I see. I see this eye, or at least the eye um, socket, goes back a little bit more. And I also see that. There's like a cheek almost here. I don't want to be on sub. So that's important to add this cheek area. You just add a little bit more mass to the side. Because he is a like a muscular creature, so. And this can all be pretty flat, it seems like, here. Flat and even. All right, let's see if we can smooth this out. May have to drop it down, but we'll see. Because it's really important that all this is smooth. I still don't feel like there's a much of an indent here. So I'm gonna add some more clay. Move it out. Okay, it looks good. I think I'm gonna bring it a little lower. And that way we can really get all this stuff nice and smooth. Cause that's like the main thing is you want the body and the, like you want the head to be smooth. Like he, everything on his head is smooth.
pretty good. Is there enough space? Oh, uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. I want to make sure there's enough space where his eyes are. It looks pretty good. Okay, it looks like I just want to flatten this out really quick. Under here, it looks like it's flat. So I just want to add that little detail. And of course he needs, so it looks like this part actually goes into his nose, which looks like it's here and here. So what's the best way to do that? Hmm. There's a couple things. I tried to enlarge the picture. So I could use a cylinder, turn it sideways with mirror. That would make it very clean. Maybe I should just try that. So this is to get his nostrils. So let's see if this works. Let me save. I'll add a cylinder. Move it forward. I'll use snap and bring it to the front. All right, so it's mirrored. We'll separate them. Gizmo hole. We'll try it like that for now. Back to the gizmo. Oh, I think I need to thicken it up. Hmm. to the gizmo, thicken it up. That might be okay. Well, let's give it a shot. So I'm gonna validate and then I'm gonna use move. And they actually look like they're fairly straight. There's not that much bend in them. But I feel that they would be a little bit bent. Like this. You know what? Let's use the green as well. Okay, maybe we have to turn on the symmetry. And if I turn on the symmetry, I have to turn off the red. They don't really like. F uh, so that's top and bottom. I don't think I want that symmetry line. Do I want this one? No, not really. I wonder if it even makes sense what I'm trying to do. Probably not. So I'm gonna try this again. I'm basically just trying to bend them in so that they bend a little bit like this. Uh, of course I could just tilt them, but I want a little bit of a bend. No, they're not really bending the way that I want. Okay, so maybe I'll just tilt them a little bit and maybe I'll try to Instead of pushing, maybe I'll just try to drag. And I'm only really concerned about the outer nostril area. Because that's what you'll see. Uh-oh. So I was just thinking, as I was away, uh, I was just thinking that I could probably... get what I want so I was wondering why I'm such a dum-dum but I feel like if I just validate these then the symmetry changes it changes from 
each to them just being one object. So then I should be able to, I should be able to use the Let's see. Let's see what happens now that they're validated. Okay. Still can't get what I want. I don't even know where that is. What is that? There we go. So, I don't know. I kind of use these after I validated. Because it changes it from... I could use the symmetry and it would just push everything as one. Instead of before I validated when it was a mirror, everything is like a double symmetry because it's like the symmetry for each one. So I made them one. That way it's only half. Whatever happens this side happens to this side. That helped. So this feels a little bit better. Uh, they look like they're pointed downwards a little bit. Maybe we can slide them right into his snoot. Something like that. And maybe make them a little smaller. Oh. Bring them out a little bit more. Oh, that's actually really good. They're a little big, but they're bigger than his eyes. How big are they? Maybe they're just too, a little tall. That feels pretty good. So if I'm looking from this direction, that's actually pretty good. Not going to lie. I like that. I, I enjoyed that. So let's turn this off because I think we just need the left and right. And this can become, because this becomes, it becomes that curve. So that's actually like sort of perfect. The only thing is that this, the head becomes this curve as well. So they, they sort of merge. So let me make this a little bit bigger. And I just want to kind of... I don't know what the best way to do this is. You know what? Let's smooth this. So let's smooth the head. And then let's use clay. And add some here. So when we eventually merge them, we can just smooth this out. And they'll be like one piece. Okay, so the only thing is, it looks like the tip of the, so this is actually looking a bit smaller now. I'm going to raise it up a little bit higher, and I think I need to bring the snoot out a bit more, and I might have to bring the nostrils up a bit. Because this is right at the edge. Seems like. So sort of like that. Maybe I'll even smooth that down a little bit. So sort of like that. We have the nostrils coming out. They sort of point towards each other. And then I'm seeing... I'm seeing some lip here. 
All right, let's do a little cheat and hmm. it feels a bit, no, actually if it comes up and it comes over like that, it's pretty good. The eye is going to be a little bit smaller, so that's actually not terrible. Let's drag this down a little bit. And also, let's move this down a little bit. And there needs to be a little bit more here and here. On, the, on, on these sides, there needs to be a little bit more, a little bit more mouth. Just a little bit more squared. I check the time, 7.52, got my fiance's burger. She always calls me up and makes me put food in, a, put food in the oven for her. <laughs> the toaster oven. So when I get the call, I already know what it is. I know that I'm being put to a task. There we go. Is this, okay, now are these nostrils too big? That's my only thing. Are they sticking out too far? They might be. So let's take these and we already voxel remeshed them. So let's smooth them again. Well, let's voxel remesh them a little bit heavier. Let me save. I want to make sure that they're nice and solid so that when I smooth them, I don't move too much. I don't get rid of too much. They could be a little thicker on the sides, but I think I can do that um, later on. Oh, here she comes. It's about to get loud. I can hear her all the way from coming in the first door. All right, so I will return. Momentarily. Just get rid of some of this nostril back there. that nice and deep okay all right y'all I'm back and now I have to sort of get back into the swing of things kind of figure out where I was I feel like I want to add a little more just a little more to this <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Just a wee bit more. And it's also looking like it's kind of flat. It is still flat on both sides, so... I want to keep those two sides... I'm going to keep that sort of line because eventually I'm going to pinch this and um, anyway so the nose I think is looking pretty good is it too big it still might be a little bit too big but it might not be too bad when I remesh it so maybe it's time to do that stop being scared Okay, let's take this, let me save, firstly. So let's take this and this. And we'll voxel remesh at, we'll voxel remesh at like 250. 
All right, so now let's see, let's see what we got going on here. I got nervous that symmetry wasn't gonna be on. Okay, that's pretty good. So I can take drag and sort of You know what, let me smooth this a little bit more. Add a little more here. I'm actually going to take drag and just try to close these up a little bit. decent actually. I just want to add a little bit more surface area here. Okay, looks decent. Flatten this out a, a bit. And also flatten this out a bit. want to keep this nice and smooth, this transition from, you know, the head to the nostrils. I'll paint in there black as well. They are a little big. But I'm not too worried about it because, again, I can kind of change the shape of this a bit fairly easily with drag so if I decide I want to take some more off it's not too difficult They just need to be a little bit thinner. So I'm going to take select mask, mask off, mask off the inside. Close that off a little bit. Clear the mask. Just kind of smooth that out. Again, like I always say, constantly just going through and just smoothing and maintaining a nice smooth mesh. Okay, so let's look at the, that looks good. It looks like this is so 
So something like that. Maybe it gets a little sharper. Why is it not straight? That really bugs me. Why is it not? Is it just? No, it's really not straight. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, well. Um, let's see. And it looks a bit like... I don't know if flatten is going to work. really loved for this thing to be straight. How is this thing off center? I'm so confused. Um, reset it and it actually went back to the right spot. Interesting. Bake this thing. So it looks like it might need to go a little bit more forward. But everything else I think is still pretty good. I might need to take this up a little higher I'm seeing this part of the head. Okay. Right, let's save. Making some progress. Use flatten and sort of give it a little more sharp on top. Okay, so let's go back to what we were doing. I'm just making like a little section where the bone comes up from the skin at least. You can kind of see a little something. It's a bit hard to see, but there's a little something there. It also could just be, if I use crease and sub, I don't know if I want to do this now though. Well, I can see how it looks. So I'm thinking I want to add to be on the top though. That looks good. Flatten this out a little bit. OK. 
Look so right. Maybe just a regular crease. Oh, you can't really see it though. You can't really see the area here, so this might not be worth it to to add a little separation and then smooth it. But maybe let's take a look. It has a little something. It has a little definition to the nose, which he does have. I'm gonna flatten the nostrils out again. Okay, I gotta figure out these eyes now. Let me go. I'll be right back. All right, so let's uh, let's let's figure this little dude's eyes out. I don't know why I'm calling him little. All right, um, I don't know why I even clicked on that. When I come back from like taking a break, it's like I have no idea what I'm doing anymore. So let's. Add a sphere. And we'll mirror it. So his eyes are going to be they're pretty small. Might even be something like this. It's tricky though, when he's looking forward, well, I guess they can move. I guess they can move um, however you need them to move. But in this angle, you can see them both. So does that mean that the head is not wide enough? Mm, the tough questions. Oh, there's also symmetry or perspective, I mean. Perspective doesn't really help at all. Okay, so so his head doesn't look like it's wide enough, at least in the back. Did I make the eyes too far back from the nose? Hmm. I wonder if I need to... Open this up a bit more. I just want to make sure it looks decent from all of the angles, which it should. Why is this? Did I choose the wrong one again? I don't think I'm going to really get him to be able to look like that from the front. Uh, well, maybe if I bring that down, it does. That's not bad. So yeah, I might have to figure that out a little bit better. 
His eyes just look so small. Okay, anyway, um... So I like when his mouth is closed for this one. I'm gonna validate those spheres. I just call them... Yeah, I'll validate them. Eyeballs. And I'm just gonna close because I'm gonna make lids. Excuse me. My feet so warm. I would really like to enjoy a Starburst, but I don't know. I don't think I can do a tutorial and eat a Starburst at the same time. So I'm very torn right now. Okay, so uh, it looks like <clears throat> I made his lip a little too far down, that's the first thing that I see. All right, so. I think I wanna flatten this. Nice. And let's see. I'll just use crease. Okay, that looks good. Let's um, pinch, pinch. Okay, so we'll pinch that. That looks pretty good. It doesn't actually look too far away from where it's supposed to be, actually. Maybe I'll crease this again. Let's go a little bit smaller. adding details like this. I love it. Like I enjoy sculpting so much. Even if it takes me a long time, like this is taking me a long time for the head, but I love just being able to match all the details and try to match all the details. Absolutely love it. I would like to do one with his mouth open as well. So at some point in time, I'm gonna to have to uh, make another version of this. Okay, so I'm thinking the eyes might be a little small. No, not the lids, not the lids. Let's hide the lids. The eyes. Pivot, reset, pivot. Might be a little smaller and rested on the bottom. Come on, please. 
please continue to, okay, good. Okay, that looks all right. I can, the problem is they're also, they look like they're stretched. Like I wanna stretch them. I kind of want them to be like this. And maybe actually bring the backs out, out a bit. Something like that. a little bit all right we'll see I might have to change if it looks if it starts to look funny so eyelids So I think I might just use drag to kind of get this how I want it to look. Something like that. I think is nice. I can probably bring this out more. Something like that. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks it looks great. Okay, and now there's another, mm. so there's like two lids, that's the thing, so maybe this one moves up a bit, let's see what happens if I clone it, I'm just going to smooth this down. I really just want to make this the other lid. So maybe, oh, why does this not look matched? I swear sometimes. Um, well, that's okay. So for this one, I'm just going to trim it and I'll do the same thing for this and I'll just clone them once I once I get them I can just use do one eye at a time okay so Drag this out a bit. Make this a little more linear. It looks good. I'm gonna voxel remesh it just to kind of get it solid. Because I like where it is. And I should probably do the same for this. I'll voxel remesh it so it's nice and solid. Uh, 
Okay, so, um... I do... I might, I might want to flatten this one. Maybe crease. And maybe, maybe we can do a uh, crease sub and make this a nice line here. And maybe clay and sub. So this will be more like an eyelid. That looks nice. Pinch, pinch this and get that nice plane. Yeah, that looks nice. All right, so there is, um, does he have a little lower lid? He kind of does, kind of does have a little lower lid. I might be able to do that with crease. Either with crease or maybe let me take crease off of sub. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have to be careful when I'm doing things with the eye shape, with the head shape. Make sure that symmetry is on. Uh, but maybe I need to do this when I'm doing more detail. I'm not too certain what the best plan of action is. I mean, that looks pretty good. For a quick and dirty eyelid. Let's see if I can use inflate to give it a little... Give it a little oomph. I think that looks good. Did it work on the other side? It did, good worry about that. Okay, um, another thing that I noticed, this is a very sharp line here. So, let's take crease and really make sure that that's nice and sharp. Gotta be careful though. Maybe drag really small can make this sh sharp the way I'm looking for. Something like that. I just want to make it a nice sharp area. I do want to experiment with, since all these things are separate, let me save. Since all these are separate, I want to experiment with maybe even moving them up a little bit. Seeing what that looks like. Now I think I like that better because his eyes are pretty small and they're very inset in his head. So I think I like that.
Okay, so I'm gonna use my round edge and smooth this out and decimate it. Because I don't know if I'm actually going to, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I should. I don't know if I should join it, join them together. But anyway, so let me take the eyelids, eyelids. We need to put them in a mirror. Great, so now the other side is done. Let me check the size, the horn. Okay, so what I see, what I see is that this needs to go up a little bit more. Still looks like this should come out more. If I can't do it that way, then maybe I'll just use clay. sub just add a little bit more body to that Maybe even take a little bit more off here. Okay. I think I'm pretty happy with it. Might just want to move just the horn a wee bit. Yeah, that's a pretty good match for this. The portions are a little off, but it's not so bad. Let's pinch this a little bit more. Let's use crease and sub and really Okay, 
I don't want to go or keep going over it too much because it'll just lose. So no, the other thing that I'm noticing is um, his chin is a little, it's not as flat. There's a little bit more there. So I'm not sure if I should use drag. I might even want to uh, uh, protect most of this. That's a little more accurate. That's a little more accurate. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So there's some little sections. The horn has actually an interesting texture. The skin kind of has an interesting texture, but I'm probably not going to worry too much about that. Smooth that a little bit. So I think I might I might go ahead and uh, let's validate those. So top one in the mirror, I might voxel remesh that. Oh, but do I want to? Um, I might not want to remesh again, so I have to think about if I want to do a body. Let's just remesh it. High. 500. So now we'll get a little bit in there. But I like the lines, so I'm not going to go too crazy. That looks good. I'm going to use crease sub to... Do I want to pull that out more? No, I think it's good. I'm actually thinking about, well, let's just do it. Let's add an eyelash type situation. So I'll use path. Uh, to, uh, I do want snap. And he doesn't have a really thick one, so it doesn't have to be thick eyelash. We'll do radius. The side is actually it's obviously going to be a bit smaller. Spline to make it nice and curvy. Turn off spline. Oh, not not off spline. 
You can turn off snap. That's what I meant. I'm gonna tuck it right in the corner. And really just tuck this in. Uh, make this a little smaller on the side. And I'm gonna bring this out a bit more so I can see it a little better. Right, let's mirror it so it's on the other side. And let's validate. We'll smooth the end, which will in turn make it a little smaller. And even maybe I'll use flatten. Okay, I want to use crease to without sub. Make sure I have that eyelid in there. I probably have to smooth this out and redo it a few times. Play this in a little bit. That might help. There we go. That's good. Smooth out, it's kind of fat right there. Smooth out the eyelash. That looks good. Might even be able to do a crease here. No, I don't need that. Let's smooth this a little bit better. But maybe I will. I kind of want to redo, I'll try clay. I want to redo this lower lid a bit. Because it sort of got lost. So I'll use clay to build it back up. Flatten. It's not bad. I'll softly smooth. I have to do it softly or else I'll lose that detail. Now I want to try crease right under what I just did. It's not bad. Still a little, let me save. Let's remesh high again. The reason why I'm doing that is I want to solidify what I've done here. It still looks quite soft. Uh, but let's do crease and sub. Maybe we can get this edge back. Well, I guess we'll create the edge with this tool. And 
and then we'll pinch it. Pinch sometimes smooths as well. Okay. It's good. I'm going to flatten out these. Just felt a little too rounded for me. bit smooth it up okay okay cool 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 Nice. All right, I think that looks really good. I'm pretty happy with it. So let me save. And now let's, um, if I was gonna do a body, I think I would do a cylinder and then a, uh, let's see. Yeah, a cylinder that widens out. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the cylinder, but. We'll see. What is this? Oh, that's the eyelashes. So let's validate that. Eyelashes. So we'll add a cylinder. Yeah, so the neck is not too much wider than the head. I'm just going to go ahead and validate that. Why not? Round it out a little bit. Put a little bend in it. And then just have some fun, try to mold it to the right spot. I kind of want to do the whole body, but it's really hard to know what the whole body looks like. Oh, let's also rematch this. Subdivide it and the box will remesh it. Hmm.
We'll just continue with the clay away. I think that works the best. Now there is a part of his neck. It's actually quite small, so. It's maybe something like that. But then it gets somewhat flat here. There is like a breastbone around here, this area. Smooth this out. Remesh it, smooth it some more. Again, I can't reiterate enough. I love a nice clean mesh. I mean, by clean, I mean smooth. I don't mean clean like topology clean. Okay. I'm sure we'd have some neck muscles. I feel like they'd be like kind of like this or something. Feels right to me. And that's the beauty of creating is that you can then add your own swag to it, what feels right to you. So I want to move all of this in some, although it kind of looks nice. It does kind of look nice. I kind of like the, uh, the big neck, but I guess that's not really true to the character. But would anyone, anyone even, like, notice? Probably not. But yeah, that's a pretty significant change. this a little bit more so then at least he has a little more I think that's a good compromise Details like that. All right, so let's take this. I don't even know how far down I want it to go because it's just going to get more difficult because I don't really have like a platform form or anything. So this is the neck. Could add a body.
I'm just gonna, I might just keep, keep it as a bust, but I just wanna kind of play around with this a little bit. It just makes it difficult that I don't have, like I don't really know what his, you know, most of the movie, like he's in the water. Like he looks, it makes more sense if he's in the water. So they're quite low, number one. Let's kind of get these in a better position. I need symmetry on or is this oh no it's good okay all right um hmm Oh, let's box where we mesh this thing. Oh, let's subdivide it first. Well, I guess I didn't subdivide it. Subdivide. Oh, it's still quite strong. Clay sub. So I actually want to look at his tail. I know he has a, um, I would like to, how big are his fins? Where's the, images, so he's a fin here. It's hard though, because I don't really want to look at like fan art. But it's really hard to find him. And this toy, I don't know what's up with that. Red Bluster full body. So 
So his tail looks like is this, as I'm looking at all of them. The tail looks like that. Fins are not just flippers. It looks like they have a little something at the end. But I can't see it officially. That's okay. Maybe maybe they do. Maybe they do have a little something at the end. I don't think that'll be difficult. Uh, so there's a fin there. Is there is there another fin? There is an, there is another fin at the bottom. Okay. So we're gonna go with that. So, so this will be the body. Save, we'll add another sphere for the rest, like the back part of the body. Symmetry wasn't on. That should really that should be the default. Like why isn't that the default? Oi. Validate. This should be the default. I swear. Maybe it should go the other way. I'm not sure it should be so wide or so curved. Okay, so flatten this bottom side. Uh, bottom, body. We'll add a new sphere and we can make this into the bottom part of the tail. I'm just going to give them like a whale's, like that beautiful whale tail. <laughs> whale tail. So let's mirror and just make a beautiful whale's tail. Something like this, I'll just mirror it so I can. Something like this, right? I think that looks okay.
think that's pretty good actually. It's not terrible. Since I can't really see how long his body is supposed to be. Maybe that's a bit too long. But these are looking good. Nice little flatten. And I think I want to add a bend to this. <clears throat> maybe I'll drag, maybe I'll move the ends up. That might look nice. How do they get... Mostly right now, I just have to, I just want it to look beautiful. So I like the way the fin looks now, so I'm just going to validate it. Um, rear fin. Good, I just think it looks nice. Why the symmetry point would be way up there, or why the pivot point would be way up there, boggles my mind. Starting to go a little crazy here. Let me take a look at some more of those shots of him. The tail does look pretty long in that, but that's not really official. Yeah, I don't think it'll be impossible to gauge. I think this might be a little... Actually, the only thing that would help this is if I did something like this, I think. If I make it, like, wide there... Kind of makes it interesting. Can make it a little more flat underneath. Kind of 
kind of keeps it interesting. It gives him some like musculature. I do want to blend these together now. So whatever, let's just do it. Body, bottom body, I'll save first. Voxel remesh in like 300. Since we're getting down to the wire, why not do some voxel remeshing? Nothing like a good voxel remesh to test your resolve. We'll get this blended together nicely. inflate to sort of bring back some of these like nice beautiful muscles that sort of look like they're under his skin I'm going to use crease and sub to bring some of these back too Actually looks good, but I should have. I don't know where I should have ended that. I want this to be subtle, so that's the only reason I'm going over this like this. Because I want it to be a little more subtle. I don't want these details to stand out too much. I want them to look natural. Like I actually built a skeleton underneath. That's the look I go for. Like I actually built a muscular, musculature, muscle armature underneath, whatever you want to call it. Let's do a nice crease here. Oh, the regular crease. Let's see if we can get that. Little area back. I probably should make the body smaller. That's what I'm feeling. So we have rear fin. So all the stuff that's connected to the body, what is this? Oh, those are the fins. So all this stuff is connected to the body. The neck. The neck I'm gonna keep connected to the head. So let's save. But the body I think I need to make smaller. Because his head is quite big compared to his body, and for mine, it's quite a bit smaller. That looks a that looks a bit more natural. He has a 
He has a very wide, he has very wide shoulders though. But I think I like this. So I'll just keep it for now. Oh, it does not look straight. Something looks not straight. I hate it. I really hate it. Should it be smaller? Should it be smaller still? Kind of like that. Yeah, he just needs like big shoulders here. He just needs like big shoulder muscles there that would be attached. And I think that would look good. All right, what else do we, oh, that's right, his fins. Let's move these in because they, they look weird like that. So I'm going to go ahead and clone. Let's save. I'm going to go ahead and clone. Uh, I'm going to clone the fins. I'm going to hide them and then I'll validate these. And these will just be the fins. So if I mess up, I have the old fins there. So we'll do select mask. And I have to figure out what he's on. See if he's even on anything. Let's make the platform first, actually. So let's do a sphere. So we'll do something like this. Let's validate it. Subdivide it and I'll box or remesh it maybe at like 250. And then let's trim it. Oh, I am not in orthographic anymore. Whoops. So let's trim it. Voxel remesh it again. I'll do rounded edge on it a couple times. Why does it look so crazy? So let's say this is the platform that he's on. It's too high, but actually not. So now that we have that there, maybe we should adjust him. Not the sphere, not the sphere. Interesting. Maybe this actually looks better if I do it this way. All right, so 
for these, let's just go with an easy, simple select mask. So we'll go about here. I should have done symmetry. Go about here. You know what? I need to... Like this isn't really going to work the way I want it to work. You know what? That's fine. Let's take trim. Let's clear the mask first. We'll do lasso, and I'm just going to get rid of this side. Trim. Thank you. Trim. What do you mean it's fully trimmed? Solo. Symmetry off. Trim. Lasso. Please go away. Thank you. Sometimes application starts acting fresh. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Gonna smooth. Oh. Actually, that's okay. <clears throat> it actually makes it look good that it isn't perfect like that. Maybe I even maybe want to add more, make it look like it's sort of like a muscle or something in his arm. I think that looks interesting. And I wasn't sure I wasn't sure if the fins had something on the ends of them. Like if his fins had a... Something longer on the ends, I'm not sure. But I think it just looks silly. I kind of just like it like this. I'm gonna remesh this. Maybe around 250. Probably should have smoothed this out first, I guess. out. It's amazing what a good flatten will do for you. It's looking crazy over here. Let's flatten this out. And then smooth it. Okay. Late here. Oh, 
Looks all right. Could try to add some creases in here, like maybe a nice crease. Just to kind of get those creases going. I think that looks pretty good. But I want to move this down. Because if this is going to be the ground, then I want to make it a bit flatter. Because there's a lot of weight. He has a lot of weight on it. And if there's a lot of weight, then it would be flat. Kind of like our feet flatten out when we step on the ground. We don't really notice it, but they do. They do. So that fin looks good. So let's mirror it. I'll just validate it because I'm sure it's fine over there. Even though I can't see it. That looks good. Uh, add a little inflate over here. Okay, let me save this. It looks good. Let me take a breather. Okay, so I gotta do some fins. Forgot about the fins. I'm not even gonna look. I'm just gonna do the fins that I wanna do <laughs> at this point in time. It's looking good. Uh, I don't think I need these other flippers. I don't think I need these. I'm just gonna get rid of them. But I will add some fins. The sculpt is big. I thought that I had made it too small in the beginning, but apparently that's not the case. So let's validate symmetry, which should be on automatically. So maybe we'll come out and then over. Maybe something like that. Give a little flatten up here. Maybe I can clay some of this away to make it a little more fin-like. I actually don't know. Well, let's let's remesh it. Did it just get some funky lines on it from my remesh? It might have. I hate those funky lines. It's flat without it. What if I can do layer? Mm. Let's subdivide. What if I just subdivide? Maybe that's like the better option that I just haven't been using.
feel like I should have validated after. It's actually not bad, though. I, mean, I don't really know what his fins actually look like, but it's not terrible. Maybe there needs to be a little bit of layer on top or something. It's kind of what I want, but just not so weird like that. Let's see what it looks like if I voxel remesh it. And then I smooth. It looks like a mess. Kind of interesting, but still a mess. Probably do it again unless I can salvage it. I think I just like it flat. Not all these extra details. The only thing that it would might be nice if I give it like a little curve. But his body is straight, so that doesn't really make too much sense. Unless it looks like the top is like falling. Yeah, I think I'll just leave it. Kind of, I mean, I like it. I don't mind that that's a little bit. Because also, like, he's out of the water, so a lot of his fins might be... Um, kind of have some weight to them as well, so I'm okay with that. But doesn't he have another little... Doesn't he have another one? I feel like he's supposed to have another one. But I've made this one too long. I don't think I can adjust it. so nice where I had it before. That's such a nice spot. Does that look better or does that look worse? It does look kind of cool.
Ooh, maybe I could just add some little, maybe with a clay sub, I could add some leave it but you know what would be nice if you had a chunk missing that would be kind of cool maybe layers the one for the job for that oh the only problem is I forgot that I didn't voxel remesh this thing because it was acting silly but it does look voxel remeshed let's save and let's try it oh it still looks good okay but so you know what i'm going to do i'm going to do it the right way I'm going to box a remesh it high. And I'm going to take trim and lasso. That's the way to do it. Maybe even another one. Oh, that one didn't even register. Also remesh this again. So hopefully we can get this smoother. I'm going to add some clay to go along with this muscle here. So I don't know if I'm going to merge them together or not yet, but... I want them to be in sync. Maybe I should just merge them. Stop horsing around. Hmm. You know what? Let's do a save as. So let's save, let's do a save as. So there should be two of them, yep. So bottom body and neck, that's what it is. go. There's no greater feeling than a nice strong merge. All right, let's bring these together with some nice muscles here.
do feel like this is a little too round. So what can we do for this jaw? This jaw just feels a little bit It's a little bit bitter. It's not so round. It's still kind of round. I feel like his head is, I feel like his head should be bigger. Okay, so Finn's sphere is the back fin. Finn's rear fins. Neck is the body. Fins are on the body. So let's save our progress. Top bone is the head. Sphere is, uh, what is that? Oh, that's the shore or land. Bring that to the bottom. All right, let's see what it looks like when his head is bigger. So I need to take all of these and just make his head bigger. Our body smaller. It's the same, right? I think it's the same. It would actually be better because I think this sculpt is really big size-wise. That looks decent. Yeah. I think that looks decent. That looks better. He does have a large head. I'm gonna shave off. I think that's I think that's a bit better. The only thing he seems to have is a little bit more maybe back here. Maybe not that much, but hopefully it smooths out. Got too overzealous. You know what? I can probably just use move. Let's smooth all this stuff out first so we can make sure that it smooths nicely. Because I forgot that the, the head is remeshed pretty high. And I'm not going to remesh it low. I have to do all those details again. So just hoping that it smooths out. If not, I'll have to undo and I'll have to pinch it all like with move I'd rather not do that but I might have to Whoop. yeah 
it. It looks much better without this sticking out so far. That looks nice. That looks nice. Maybe a little bit. A little bit of extra jaw right here. this really wide because he has a nice strong neck This a little thicker. <clears throat> okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we have that. Part of me wants to give him two little fins there, but Maybe I don't need to do that. But I kind of want to, real quick. Super easy. A little thicker. Let's do inflate and see if we can let's flatten it.
Not really what I was going for. I don't mind that too much. It's not bad. Let's do clay and let's do some... Oh, do I want to do Din, din Topo? Uh, this is 121k. It's actually not too bad. I thought it was going to be worse. Din Topo. Let's turn this on. Let's do some inflating. Smooth, turn it off for the smooth. Use clay increase and just see if I can and this really isn't uh I wonder if I can just, I just want to get a little bit more of this, um, this muscle to be shown. Yeah, I think clay was a better tool. All right, cool. So let's save and I would also like to Make a box really big. Let's go ahead and turn lit PBR. Let's make this a refraction. To start, that would be kind of cool. The index of refraction is crazy right now. So I'll probably do something cool with this later. But right now I probably don't need to be kind of messing with it. So we'll hide it for now. So the head, the horn with the eyeballs, the lashes. Okay, we'll just connect them. So these eyes, about these eyes. I 
let's turn everything except for the eyeballs. that white like I always do I think this is our nice view. Let's take it, let's put perspective on. Um, I kind of, I guess I have to color part of him in order to do the face. So he's around here. He's a little more glossy than I usually do. So we So the eyes I would like to be refraction as well, but I don't know if I'm going to get this to work. I would like them to be refraction. I would like them to be yellow. And let's see if I can remember. I haven't done my eyes like this in a while. Absorption, I think this yellow as well. Still not showing. Okay, so. So I think what I need to do, all right, so for the head, Let's add a layer, and I'm just going to grab this red again, and paint that red. So this will be red, or Ted, and the base I want to be just matte white, like everything else. So we have matte white base, red, but then I want to layer on top of that. If I can remember how to make a new layer. Oh, add layer. I yellow. So I can't quite remember the tricks I used to do. I think I might actually used to cut this in half. which might actually work. So that could actually work. Let's give it a test. If I use split, and I just split it here, and then take this one, change it to opaque yellow. Mm, that didn't work. didn't really work. It's not polite. 
It's not polite at all. And it didn't do it with the symmetry. I guess it didn't cut. Okay, I still have more ideas. So my next idea is to clone the eye, change it to opaque, Move it slightly. So that sort of gives me, oh, it looks much better though. Hmm. I'm going to clone one again. I'm going to name this Iris. I want to paint it black. So I want to make this like the middle part of the eye, his eye. And just see if I can do anything creative with it. Okay, so this is the yellow, okay. So what if I bring that back a little bit more? I gotta reposition this iris so it's not looking so crazy. It's so hard to navigate. I kind of have an interesting, like, I feel like it could definitely work. Could definitely get it to work. It's not quite that easy. There we go. It's really nice, except the only problem is it's not... It's, it's cool if you see it on one side, but from the front, it doesn't look right. Because in the front, it has to be more towards the front. Okay, so I like this. But maybe 
this needs to be matte black. I actually don't see any difference. I guess I kind of do. I might not even need... You know what? I might not even need... Um, let's try something. Let's take... Let's hide this. Make this opaque. You can actually see the shape of his eye. Yeah, I feel like it's more like that. Sorry, I'm getting like way too excited. Sorry, not sorry. Can I bake this? And that didn't really help me, because now it's in the middle of both. Looks pretty good. So you know what? I'm gonna clone. How how big is his iris? I'm gonna go ahead and decimate it. Cause it definitely doesn't need to be that big. So now we have iris A, and then I'm gonna clone it. And we have iris B. Because it's too hard to continue to move them around for each angle that I want to look at him. So let's hide A. But I did make this the view. So I want it to be, I want it to look good from that angle. Kind of nice if it was like looking down a little bit. Wish I wasn't such a perfectionist. I love moving the pivot around. Definitely makes life easier.
Maybe that looks okay. Maybe that looks, maybe it looks good. There we go. I like that. I'm happy with that. Save. Boom. I'm going to turn the reflectance up on the eyes. Maybe that was a little too much. Sometimes I get a little crazy. See, it doesn't look good from the front. I hide it from the front. Okay, so head, eyes yellow. Oh, I don't even think I used that. Let's make this nostrils. Matte black. Oh, I might have to put something in there. I might not be able to paint in there. If I can't, um, it looks like it might be okay. If I can't paint inside like a nostril or something, I would just make like a sphere or a disc um, and make it really low in poly and then just stick it in there. I just looked at symmetry. I was like, please let symmetry be on. So I'm gonna do this manually again for the other nostril. Cool. There's always so many angles with 3D. All right, let's see if this will smudge at all. Oh, perfect. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to turn off the red. Oh, did I not? I'm such a dum dum. That's going to be red. We're going to paint that red. And for the base, we'll hide this. The base, I want to be the same white. The eyes, I'll let slide. We'll let that slide. Now the body. Okay, let's turn the environment off. Let's add a light.
let's add, let's call this a key. Uh, maybe we'll just call this one fill. Maybe I'll stay using the sun instead. We'll put the fill over here. On this side. But we'll lower this one. So it's not so bright. Okay, now let's add an edge. So we'll make this one a spotlight. Put it over here. Crazy how bright the lights go now. Okay, I can't really see it on his flipper though, right? What's up with that? There it is. Closer. Let's go to our view. So one more. Maybe I should just do my top down that I always do. And actually, even though this key is coming from the sun, I feel like I don't know if it would actually be yellow. Daylight is always cool. Might just be white. Let's turn on the environment. Turn it down. Let's save. Let's see what it looks like with post-process because it always looks different with post-process. Turn depth of field off so I can actually see. Reflections is okay. She looks good. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet.
Oh, see, that's one thing that, that really frustrates me is when the ambient occlusion changes. I don't understand why it does that. What causes it to change? And why is it not letting me undo? And I can't redo anymore. Why does that change? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why, I don't know why that changes, but that is very annoying. I probably don't even need, I probably could just use a, It does work. I don't think I've ever tried a refraction on a on a uh, plane. Post process. Put this stuff back to where it was. Okay, I got to get rid of that edge light. It's making everything look a mess. Who is playing around on my Discord? It's not pointing the camera anymore. Let's see what it looks like if we do depth of field. We should blur that. It'd be nice. I mean, I don't know how I would do it so it's like horizontal. I guess I'd have to like move the model. Like this, maybe?
Okay, so let's see. No environment. No key. No fill. Uh oh. Did my paper pencil die? can make the edge like it's a sun. Let's bring back our fill light. Make sure this background backdrop is straight. It's very hard to tell if it's straight or not. Okay, so let me look at let's hide this backdrop really quick. Or this plane, I should say. Let's get rid of depth of field really quick. So he just has a lighter pink underneath his. Let's turn the render resolution down so I can still maneuver without it going crazy. Let's save. I guess I have vignette on. I see. Turn that off. Let's save. So the body, all this stuff is going to be the same color. Let's grab that color back red. Red. It's a little too shiny for me still. I think I'd rather add the, add the parts that I want to be really shiny. I think that's what I want to do. I feel like that looks a little bit better. I'll paint this. All of these parts I'll paint. Hmm. I was wondering if I wanted to move the head at all. Because I can do that. You know. If I want to. These should be red. Validate. Small fins. Which one do we 
make sure they're red. I'm going to save this as view two because this is a nice view of our rascal. I don't like his head turned like that. So let's save as. Let's go back to our view and just like take a good look at it and see what we think. I think it looks good. I like that view. I definitely like it better than his head straight. So now we just experiment. I think that looks good. What is going on with his eye? Turn post process off. Let's drag, turn symmetry off. Let's drag this part a little bit closer. This would actually look better on the front too. All right, so I think I want to I want to take the body, the rear fins. In the head. And I think I want to voxel remesh them all together. Really high. I probably shouldn't do it that high. Everything still looks pretty good. Not perfect, but pretty good. This head connection is going to look really good, though. That's the perk. What else did I merge together? This little tail. So it looks like I lost some of the inside of the nose. How did that happen? 
Oh, I also lost a lot of this stuff too. You know what? I don't think it's worth it. I lost a lot. Yeah, I lost a lot of good detail. So I think I'm gonna leave it. I don't feel, I, I, I don't wanna sacrifice that detail, but where is the stuff for the nose? I guess I did paint over it, did I, didn't I? Like a dum dum. So let's take. What are these? Oh, these are some weird eyeball, eyeballs. Let's delete. Oops. I don't understand why you're showing. a little wider so they're a little easier to see okay so oh that's right the the nostrils so I'm gonna do it the easy way I'm just add a sphere I'm gonna mirror it in it black, super rough, and lower the topology to really low, negligible. Ooh. Well, that's right, I turned the head, didn't I? So now everything's acting a little funny. But that's okay, as long as we can get it in the nose, we're golden. So we'll take this view, we'll validate it, yes. And then we'll join it to like the eyelashes or something. So now it's dark in there, everyone's happy. So we'll add another layer and this will be pink. pink so I'll grab the color of the red that way we get the texture as well and it's pink I think it's something like that oh good this symmetry still works on the head so that's good. It's definitely not going to smooth. That's a fact. His paint is pretty smooth, but that's okay. Just a little bit I'll be happy with. I don't know what's up with this. I don't know what that is. What is that? It's not nostrils. It's not red. What is that? Maybe it's just a bit of a shadow. So now we have the body, I'm going to make a new layer, call it pink. So 
Symmetry is not on. Perfect. Get under these. We'll go. We'll go down here. Why not? Oh, um, symmetry's a bit off. Why? That's odd. It's always something. So we'll just turn it off, I guess, and we'll just go manual. Erase. Erase some of that. Let's see if it smooths. All right, I think symmetry works up here. Okay. This is actually smoothing quite nice. Oh, wait a minute, I'm using the smooth tool. No, smooth color. Can't use the smooth tool. Gotta use a smooth tool with zero intensity. Otherwise, you risk messing up your sculpt, which is not good. Symmetry should work up here. Still smoothing decently, so that's nice at least. Okay, let's unsolo. Let's go back to his head and see if we can have to, oh, have to paint this in. It does look like it goes up here. All right, let's try to smooth this out a little bit, at least. I really hate using smudge, but sometimes I guess I just have no choice. I'll use paint and erase and put the intensity down really low. And I have to do like an old school. Maybe I'll cheat and smooth a little bit with the smooth tool. It doesn't even work on the head. Let's see if I can decimate it. I decimated once. All right, I got it once. Let's see if there's any big difference. I feel like I, I lost a lot on the mouth, though. Did I? No, oh, you can't even really see. Anyway, let's go to the layer and bring it down a little bit. So that might help, at least. So we'll bring it down a little bit and then we'll try to Let 
I need it to smooth a bit more. It's a little better. Still not perfect. Let's see if we can smudge it around a little bit. Okay, that's decent. That's decent enough. Alright, so on the head, I'm going to add another layer and name it darker. And I'm probably going to come back and I might do this, but essentially for this layer, I want to take the red and make darker areas. So the first thing I want to do is the, the mouth area should be a darker red with the crease. Oop, got to make sure that I have this pressed. Okay, that was good. That was almost perfect. Perfect. So now I want to take this color and just darker. Okay. And really just punch in a lot of these details. Okay, that's pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Okay, I feel like he would look better if the background was darker. I don't know. Let's bring back the plane. Take a good look. I gotta get some sleep. And why is the water so dark? Metalness, that's interesting.
This looks weird as with that color. All right, let's get a print out of this so that at least I can look at it. So let's hide this plane. Alright, I think this looks pretty good. That looks good. So let's save, just do a screenshot. Okay, that's good for now. So I might come back to this, but we'll see. Set to my phone so I can look at it when I go to bed like a crazy person. Thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you're really serious about learning, then definitely check out my Skillshare classes. Just go to my website, drugfreedave.com. I have 2D classes in Procreate and 3D classes in Nomad Sculpt. Keep drawing, keep sculpting, and I'll see you all in the next video.